Hello everybody, today I'm doing a repost of a video I did about four years ago and this video is about uh, parents who have autistic children, uh, how to handle it when they're of age of getting their driver's license. So I look back at this uh, story that I told four years ago and it's terrible, the lighting is bad, I barely can speak on camera, and um, but I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to repost the same video and so hopefully you can get the gist of the story. There are two things I want to update you in uh, not so much errors but things I didn't know when I did the story the first time is the first time I talked about my son getting pulled over by police uh, Phoenix police and what a terrifying experience it is when I went to see him I had said in the video there were two police cruisers but actually by the time I got there there were four police cruisers those big old Chevy Blair blazers with their lights blaring four of them surrounding my 16 year old son who was petrified in the car so that's the first correction and the other thing is I talk about and this is the whole point of the video is what I would like to suggest any of you parents that your children are getting the driver's license we had put a tiny little sticker that went through the back of the license and it said Alex is autistic please call and I had his dad's name and his phone number and I had my name and the phone number and that actually is a great plan. I still think it's a great plan. And the first time Alex ever got pulled over by the cops, it worked out great because they saw that and they called us and his dad went to the scene and made sure there was nothing that got out of hand. Because the risk, of course, when you have a child on the spectrum is when they're going to get in an altercation with the cops, the cops are not going to know what's going on and they could be shot dead, which happened twice that very same year in Phoenix where two disabled people were mistaken for being uh, either on drugs or manic and they were killed by cops. So I'm still terrified thinking of that possibility. What happened in this case, the reason the sticker was no longer on the back of the driver's license when this incident occurred is because my son doesn't want people to know he's autistic and he thinks if you don't tell them, they're not going to know, right? You're not going to figure this out. And so he peeled it off himself. And so the cops came. There was no sticker on the driver's license to inform the, them. And the risk, of course, is that the cops might think you're hostile person or they might think that you're on drugs and then the altercation escalates to where you don't want it to go. So those two corrections to the story. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope this helps any parent who has an autistic children, child if they're wanting to get the driver's license. I still would encourage it because it's good for them to become independent and if they are capable of driving, um, scary as hell, but I would encourage you letting them go ahead and do that. Hi, today I want to talk about the autistic teenager and having them get their driver's license. Um, just like any normal, typical teenager, most of the kids on the spectrum uh, are excited about getting their license and they, they really are wanting to do it. But moms like me often freak out thinking, you know, what can happen? Could they get an accident? Would they know what to do if they got pulled over? And often it's a really difficult decision whether or not we should let them do it. So. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what my family did when my son got his driver's license three years ago. And if you guys have any other ideas on how to handle this situation, please leave a comment below and share it with uh, whoever might this might affect. When my boy got his license three years ago, um, we, or his father I should say, made him this little sticker to go on the back of his driver's license and it basically says, hey, I'm Alex, I have autism, call mom and it gives my number or dad and gives his number and um, this way it's stuck to the back of the card and he hands it over to the police, they can see, oh, okay and um, gives them a little bit of information on the situation. So the first time we needed to use this was about a year after he got his license. He had a little fender bender where he kind of rear-ended the lady in front of him who stopped too short. And it worked out good though. He handed her the license and she called me and I had my, um, my ex-husband meet my son uh, and um, he was there in like 15 minutes and it turned out okay. Neither of the um, people got charged either because it was such a minor little little clip. But the second time, about two weeks ago, I'm expecting my son to show up and um, the phone rings and it's my boy and he's like, Mom, where are you? I need you to show up here right away. And I could tell he's freaking out, being the mom that I am. I found out he was at the uh, mouth of the neighborhood and I went over in about 
five minutes to see what was happening. And when I got there, I saw that my son was pulled over in his car, obviously scared to death holding the uh, wheel like this. And there were two big city of Phoenix police cru cruisers parked like behind him and next to him with their lights going off. So as um, soon as they saw me, I think they were relieved. They walked over to me and asked if this was my son. I said, yes. And then he's like, something wrong with him? And so, um, I wish he had used a little more tact than to say it that way, but I understand, you know, tensions are high and they don't know what's happening. So I explained to him, yes, he's my boy, he has autism, sometimes he has a little bit of jerky movements, it's just, you know, how he is, we're working on that, and um, we just lived down the street, he could follow me home. So I know the cops were thinking, you know, we even said, should I let him go? Like, he wasn't sure what to do, and I assured him we're very close by, and this would be a good experience for him. When the cop asked if he had been drinking, Alex just shuts his head no like this, and if he was a person, you know, he's saying yes, no, that's all he could do. It was so frozen, but I was proud of him for calling me and giving the cops the license like he was supposed to, and um, that was a good thing. So. Right now, I'm gonna make him another one of these tags. I'm not sure how it got off the license. I'm concerned he may be peeled it off because he doesn't like people to know he's autistic. I'm gonna put a new sticker on there, but I would like a backup plan on how do you notify the cops um, that the driver, you know, is not impaired or stoner, that he's just uh, disabled. I had heard maybe there's a little symbol you could put on the license plate, but I've not actually found that anywhere online. So if any of you know how um, you could handle your teen getting licensed, if you would comment below, I'd love that. And also, if you're on my YouTube channel, if you would hit the subscribe button, and um, if you like this video, oof, my dogs are barking, gotta go. Dawn Dickinson, Realty One Group, Mountain Desert. Thanks. Bye-bye.